Hi folks, it's Sunday and uh, time for another video. Uh, today we're going to just, I'm going to do a screenshot video uh, after the intro here. Just going to show you my wish list and then explain why I want certain products on it. Uh, if anyone knows people who work for these companies who'd be willing to send me one to quote test, uh, I'd love it. Uh, but in truth, let's just get to the intro right over there. Coming out, Maestro, cue to music, and uh, we'll talk. So, folks, I'm back. This is Tim, and uh, we're doing our screen capturing thing. It took me a while. Uh, I actually went to bed, and then I got back up, and it's like, holy crap, 5.30 in the morning. Um, I only have three things on my wish list. Yeah, tech I could actually use. Use, I tell ya. So I'm going to tell you why on each of them. And I'll uh, show you a little bit about them. First one is this Silicon Power. Solid state drive. It's an A55 3D NAND with 512 gig. Okay, that's more than twice what I have now. My current drive is a 240. And while that's adequate, it kind of means I'm, I'm running Linux inside of a, a VM, a virtual machine, and I'd rather not. I'd rather have a dual boot drive uh, with like 100, and, say 150, 175 gig for the Linux, and then the rest would be, well, my math, 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Another 300 and... 32 gig just for windows which would increase the windows partition a little by about 100 gig and i'd have a nice partition just for linux and that'd be nice no bouncing between them like i do right now you know and having to run the vm because then you're sharing and the Linux is going to run a hell of a lot better on the full 8 gig. So I like the SP drives. I, currently, the machine we're on, the Zotac CI323 with the N3150. You know, the one they always tell you. Well, you can't process videos on this. Huh? We're doing that right now. Uh, or we did. Uh, it's got a SSD from Silicon Power in it. When I bought it, I hadn't heard of them, but it is rock solid, but it is also four years old. That's one year beyond the warranty. So if I'm going to get that drive, which would be very cool. And if you've never bought one of these, it's a shocker. You know, it will come in the mail and it's about the size of, I don't know, about the size of a cigarette pack, but, you know, cut down to seven millimeters. And you're going to pick it up and go, holy crap, they robbed me. Well, in reality, uh, there's just the connector and a, one board and a bunch of chips in there and a plastic case. There's not much to it. Uh, they are considerably faster and more reliable. But you're going to have to transfer and clone your drive, aren't you? So we're going to go up here. And, yep, I mean, I, I stuck all the cheap stuff here, folks. Uh, a U-Green um, is an external hard drive enclosure. You put your new drive in there, and bingo. You can clone your drive over in there. Take it out and then 
putting it in the Zotac is like one screw, slide it, pull it out, obviously I turn it off, and then slide it in, put the bracket back down, one screw, and you're back and running, but now you have a dual boot, which would be very, very cool. I mean, it's going to be like one of those, whoa, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. But it's all right. I'll have to wing that part of it. As long as I get Windows 10 over there, I'm good. So, then I'll take the old drive, stick it in the Ugreen, and once I'm sure the new drive is up and running and working, uh, I can then use the old drive as a, you know, backup drive and put important files on there. I don't know, through USB. Very cool. The one thing it does not lack on the Zotac is USB ports. And, uh, there are two USB 2.0s in the back and everything else is 3.0. Including the USB-C uh, 3.0 on the back. Or on the front here. But our microphone is currently going through. And last but not least, this one is a, more of a backup, uh, but it, it's got something that my current, my current keyboard obviously has a caps lock. It'll tell me. Uh, my uh, good old K480 Logitech does not have any lighting. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a rock solid keyboard, obviously, it's like four years old. It's had crap poured in it. It's covered with goo from work. Uh, what do you call it? Rubbing compound dust is soaked into it. Uh, it would take a pro like a year to clean it. Uh, and it's not backlit. It'll work with this PC. But... Nah. And, yeah, I, I'm not into the pretty colors, but let's look what I am into here. Yeah, it's got a caps lock button, baby. And that's what I need. And I've already learned by reading through the questions on here. To get a screenshot, you just hit the win, shift, S. And then I can go into GIMP and do paste as new image, and bam, I got a screenshot. Very important. Other than that, yeah, you're missing out on a regular full-size keyboard by not having the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm so tired at 5.30 in the morning. Um, you don't get your you know, number pad uh, at work. Or anytime I've used the K480, I haven't had a number path. I basically get the same keyboard, except it has the advantage of it knows if you're hooked up to Android, it has certain buttons on there that you, you basically hit control. And there's a screen capture button, and it, it doesn't make any clicky noises. It's not, you know, your typical Windows where you have to highlight the area. You'll just screen cap the whole thing. You go into GIMP, you hit edit paste as new image and there it is so we already know how to do that so all this stuff is relatively cheap uh still gonna have to hold off for a while but i would just really like to get back to having linux on its own partition solid set up and raring to go so that's where we're at. There will be links to these, all three of these products, in the description below. I'm trying to keep it short, trying to keep it sweet. I'm sure that's not working. Uh, and as usual, if you like this video, found it the least bit entertaining, helpful, or maybe it gave you some ideas. Subscribe to the channel. Leave feedback and tell me what you want to see on here. You know, what kind of budget stuff you're looking for. 
I'll go out and look. I'll check New Egg. I'll check uh, Amazon. I'll check uh, over at GearBest uh, if I can find stuff. I like Amazon because I'm going to get it right away. Uh, shipping on, on GearBest is usually free, but you're going to wait 18 days. And if you have to send it back, it ain't free sending crap to China. So, uh, if you like all this information, make sure, you know, here comes the little logo thingy, the little reminder. Subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and maybe click the bell icon, that way you'll know every time we put a new video, and no one will make you watch it. But, it'd be cool to have more subscribers. I need three more right now. To hit 300, it'd be fantastic if I could do a thank you video. Uh, and as always, if you look in the description, you can... We don't do Patreon. I don't believe in signing people for a subscription. To what I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to get sick and be back in the hospital. Who knows? Uh, but we do have a PayPal me forward slash high end cheap tech address, which will actually come up under my name. And uh, you can donate. You can donate a dollar. We'll take it happily. And we'll use it for this kind of stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you in the next one. Maybe I'll do another one today. Uh, right now I'm going to go back to bed while this thing processes and renders. Laters.